What's up guys, it's Mr. Javed and today we are finally back on the OU ladder. But before we begin, I have a treat for you guys. Check this out. So this is the Academy. This is the Discord group. This beautiful place that you see is the Academy Discord, a place of just just happiness, joy, all these things, right? But it gets even better. So what you see before you, it's shout outs to AC and D N N P really got his act together. Shout outs to him. Um now, but they put together something wonderful for you guys. They put together a pace bin with a ton of different teams that fit the rain archetype, sun, offense, stall, blah, 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 everything. So you can just go there, click a team, load it up and play. So if you, you know, you have been away from the metagame or you just want some new teams and you want inspiration, perfect thing for you. They also put together something that has all the current sets. So let me see if this will come up. Look at that. So you don't even have to wonder what things are running. And this was very helpful for me because I haven't played in almost a week. And so looking through that and watching the World Cup games and all that was super helpful. So click the link down in the description below and join the Academy Discord. You know, why not? It's pretty pretty smart thing to do um, as we're going to get right into it. I'm not super high. I am, you know, solidly high. Not high, but, you know, I'm not like low on the ladder or anything like that. Um, and so the opponent should be solid to see 1730 I think I'm almost 1800 um, but yeah it's been a few days but what I did was take the time to um, watch the replays and I played a few practice games um, I'm gonna have to just shell out a period in the morning what's good bro what's good I'm gonna have to shell out a period in the morning where I just at least get a game and that's what I used to do um, because my schedule it had busy, and I was like, yeah, I, just, I just got to, just got to. He has a Dragalgi and a um, and a Chansey. You hate to see it, um, but beyond those two, well, I mean, less so Dragalgi, unless it has Toxic. Certainly Chansey, and if I get either normal poisoned or, I mean, even then, I don't think it's gonna be enough. I have knockoff Clef, so maybe that'll go somewhere. Um, but yeah, so we have Choice Scarf. Um, Magirna, which can trick Chansey, shut it down a little bit. Now I'm saying, now I'm saying, as we have uh, Manda Buzz that guards well against um, this and Semi Keldio. I do have Brave Bird to hit it if push comes to shove. Um, Volcarona upon Quiver Dancing can beat quite a bit of his team, depending on how we play this out. Um, Gastrodon is there to help check Cinderace, um, and it's just really pretty difficult for him to kill as a whole. Um, Clefables can only be beat as far as I can tell by Dragology. And then we have Scizor. Um, we don't have bo Boost. We don't have Roost, but um, SD Scizor can very likely sweep my opponent's team. Um, and so, um, what I'm looking to do here is very surprised by the Dragology. Uh, um, Magirna doesn't need to be at full for any particular reason as he offered T spikes. Um, I think even if so I'm gonna trick hard here I didn't think he'd go hard chancy but I'm glad he did um, and so this allows me to volt switch out here mm -hmm. and uh, hmm don't have enough information so that's thunder wave which is actually good for Volcarona like I, I don't want to bank on it but it isn't the worst thing in the world. So what this allows is for me to knock off. So his his initial switches are gonna be Cinderace and Dragalgi. Um, Cinderace, I am not overly concerned about. If push comes to shove, I'll have to take by the dust. Take by, you get what I'm saying. So I'll knock off here um, as Dragalgi comes in. It's choice specs, and so I'm glad that I actually end up knocking off because it allows for me to go to Mandibuzz. Um, this thing gets flip turn. That's crazy. And so what I, this allows for me to do is, mm, um, I'm gonna defog as he has Plasma Fist. Um, obvious knock is obvious. I might have to end up, I wonder if that was impatient allowing Mandibus to get hit. Well, I didn't think he'd go for Plasma Fist, but even then, cause what I'm ending up trying to do is Potentially sweep with Scizor. This thing gets flip turn. So that means flip turn dual stab. Um, and he can't really beat this very easily. So he also Dragalgi. So he's giving me the Dragalgi. 
um thing with this is you know Amanda buzz outspeeds wheezing and um and chancy so him opting for dragali means that okay well you're gonna you're essentially committing to okay fuck it i'm gonna let the volcarona do what the volcarona wants um and so he can't flip turn so i'm gonna recover here on the off chance he dracos um he doesn't really have the best switch-ins anyway and the chance is yeah so i don't want to take a draco into that and so what this allows for me to just click earthquake here he has no earthquake switching and gastron is really hard for him to force out so unless that chancy is okay good um, unless that chancy has something else that i'm not aware of uh-huh um that's whittled down and so volcarona upon quiver dance is looking mighty handsome right now um perhaps sludge bomb fishing he could do that as well um again I, this is too important for me to hmm. let's see what he does draco's draco he was literally gonna say he'd have to draco crit and he almost got the damn crit which pisses me off um yeah i think come on man come on dude oh that's a big miss oh the justice is delicious the justice is fucking delicious man that's a big miss i'll recover here to see how much this is doing okay it's not doing any kind of damage and so him cinder him allowing cinder is to get burnt chance to be in this low even if volcarona doesn't um especially because of physical zera unless it's like I guess it could be Scarf Keld as well, but the Scarf Keldia getting hit, Zero getting hit, um, is gonna mean. Hmm. Debating whether or not. What's my? Let me not go get overly zealous. Let's let's stop and check where we at. Uh, I don't know Dragalgy speed tier, but at this point, it seems as if it's non bulk up Zera. I mean, it could be bulk up, but even if it is, um, Gastrodon beats. Um, hmm. Okay, and so he's he's definitely he's just zenning repeatedly. He's at twenty five percent. Even if he bulks up again, I'm good. And so if he offs for the Jirgalgi next time, what I'll do is hard Magir now. I don't want to get hit. Um, but I also want Mandibus to get healed. Um, as he... I know it was like playing with luck. But... I didn't want to... Um, he could have high jump kick. Because uh, at the moment... I don't need to not have oh yeah I'm, I'm a fucking heavy duty boost user I'm tripping I don't yeah, I'm tripping okay I don't need even need to, I, don't, I don't even really need to worry about um um so you may have um the fire blast or not but yeah um gastrodon is gonna get normal poison there's no way around it um so unfortunately he does not miss but um yeah and so his Zera Aura, Zera Aura wouldn't really make sense to go to though. I'd assume my opponent would likely attempt to. <sighs> Dragalgi doesn't make sense either. But if he does that, so what I'm gonna do is, like, he literally loses to Clef, right? And so, as I was saying, I didn't think Zera Aura made any sense because then that forced in Dragapult. Um, but if this is. I guess he wanted to force Gastrodon in. Hmm. I don't want to play this out. Because. My best play here is to go hard Gastro. Um, actually, CC might knock me out from here. I didn't think he'd knock there. So I don't think he's bulk up, which is my biggest concern. Um, yeah. He's not bulk up, which was my biggest concern. And so, while... Okay, so he's just a Vol switch set. I shouldn't have let Gastrodon go down. I'm not playing perfectly, in all honesty. Um, 
I'm playing kind of cockily, even though like technically the game is far from over. Uh, what do these even run? I mean, either way, Mag. So he runs flamethrower. Okay, that's good to know. Um, and so Flash is pretty free here. Oh, he just sacks it. Oh, I'm Eevee Light. Okay. Again, I'm playing this pretty recklessly. Um, not not well played at all. Because I'm assuming, okay, well, I have all these. Oh, I'm wheezing. I was going to say Ultra Wheezing. <laughs> Neutralizing gas. Duh. And so I'm very surprised he just sacked the Weezing. Again, Clef. Clef's going to be very difficult for him to KO. And me just sacking gas around there was just dumb. Um, and so. We're likely going to be seeing Vol Switch sacking Dragalgi or I mean, either way, Flare Cannon Sire is just still our best play. Sacking likely Chansey um, to get the free switch. I don't, I no longer need Mag. Uh, yeah. And so Volk plus Clef. And I guess, you know, a Hydro Pump variant of um, Kelly, like a Choice Specs Keldeo could be problematic. That's something I didn't account for. And so again, just sloppy plays by me. Um, Vol switch doesn't KO so it forces him to plasma fist which is good um, because what we want to do is get the free switch into Clefable and we have some spadef so the Keldeo can't just willy nilly knock me out um, and that will allow me to moon blast him into the range of bullet punch and so uh, obviously just gonna flur cannon here again he has the plasma fist um, I have quite a bit of defense I could have also went to Volcarona there which probably might, might have been a better play um, Plasma Fist only. Oh, Plasma Fist has a ton of PP. Never mind. Never mind. Did I have leftovers? Hold on. What's his item? He's doing a lot. Probably should have went hard, Volcarona. Problem is, my Volcarona does not does not um, outspeed Zero Aura. Why am I taking so much? Is that just... Uh... Because as I said, I don't want to... Is that a magnet or something? Why am I taking so much fucking damage? Oh, okay. Which, you know, could be bad. Uh, so he goes Dragalgi. Um, I mean, my best play, Scizor's purpose literally at this point is to take this on. So he Dracos, which I'm surprised by because that now means I get to Sora's answer free. Um, and I would have gotten to Quiver to answer free. I'm really curious as to what the, the Keldeo is. Either way, um, bring it in range of in range of Moonblast. Um, really curious about that, but sloppily done. Like Gastro should have never been like I should have never allowed him to even get up T. Well, I couldn't stop T spikes. There's no way to stop the T spikes. Um, and so this force is Scald. Oh, he Hydroed because he wanted to get the KO on. You know what's his face? Uh, so that was a big miss. So he lost now. Um, so his sweeps. Um, GG. So you know, pretty big, um, pretty big um, hydro pump miss there. But that's hydro pump. Um, because with the Cinderace, although with Gastrodon wouldn't even been that low um, if I didn't miss the toxic initially. So the Cinderace would have been far lower. Um, but you know it is what it is he did end up missing the Zen headbutt thankfully um, and then flinch which I guess was bound to happen um, but Gastro still didn't need to die like just so many ways to win which is good to know like it's good to know that I could have won in several ways and generally when I have those longer like when I have a style of team where I'm like I have so many win cons I don't even know what to do with them generally when I have those kinds of teams Something I learned a long time ago is to just focus on one. So let's say you can win with Volk, Scizor, and if you try to bounce around and win with all of them, you you might end up not winning at all, and just kind of 
you know, you wall, like you have several walls to the drill. So this time you're throwing Skarmory, this time you're throwing Hippodon. Just like, just keep, like, if you don't need them, just keep them in the back. Um, and so this guy has a Toxapex, which is, is pretty funny because, you know, obviously we have Sandtomb here. Sandtomb. Mm -hmm. But he also has a Chansey, which you hate to see it. Simply because I have a Volcarona. So I'm guessing Chansey is. is it's a smart popular at the moment. Um, hmm. Like I can really mess him up, Scizor late game. So I'm gonna keep. I might early game Scizor. I might late game Scizor. Um, so let's let's see. Um, McGinner's core purpose in this game is to vol switch all over this guy's team because he has no ground type. I um, mean, it's likely gonna be luring in um, Chansey and Ferrothorn. And when either of those come in, say in the case of Chansey. Um, I do have knockoff. I do have. I have knockoff on both. So Clefable is gonna be almost unkillable. I'm not sure how he's gonna kill my Clefable because he has to go to Cinderace to even touch Clef, unless it's a Gyroball variant of Ferrothorn. Um, that would be problematic. And so I do want to potentially trick Ferrothorn if I have the opportunity to, um, and then end up trying to win with either Volcarona and Scizor. So I'm likely not gonna be switching those two in very much. I don't want Clef to be at the utmost for e, um, the Yoshifu as well, and so um, let the games begin as I'm going to be stealth rocking here. Uh, this could be a knockoff variant, mm -hmm. and there was just no way around that. Um, and I'm going to remove this thing's that black sludge because if I end up tricking this, yeah, if I end up if this be, ends up being the thing I trick, um, hmm. yeah. So he might hard switch out here, but there's nothing he can really hard switch out into that is a great threat to my Clef. And so we're going to be chilling and stalling these Skulls. I'm uh, going to Moonblast with a special attack drop that way. Um, these Skulls are doing far less. Um, no. Where's my special attack drop? Because I need this to be a certain amount of health. Um, yeah. And so... He's toxic, Nox, Skull. He's already shown his set. Um, so if Volcarona gets like Thunder Waved or something, it actually cannot die. <laughs> like it one v one's Chansey. Um, I just have to get rid of Cinderace, and Cinderace has to go for Zen Headbutt, which allows me to. Oh, I guess it could Power Ball too. It doesn't have to Zen Headbutt. That's not true. So let's move blast again. Let me get these special attack drops. Your boy Jam is not getting the the blessings he deserves. Um, where is this? Where is my special? How many is that? Okay, there we go. And so again, I want to be at my utmost of health. Um, I knew this was gonna be a thing, and so we're gonna like yeah, he's doing nine percent. So. Pretty much no skull. Skull is doing no damage. Um, knockoff has a ton, and skull has 17 left. Okay, there's the ferrothorn. I told you I was gonna just chill until he gets frustrated. Um, but I, again, I'm not sure what the ferrothorn is. A gyroball variant would be very problematic. I actually don't want. Um, actually, I said I wouldn't go Volk, but ah, he knocked. His hazarders is I didn't think he'd knock there if the Ferrothorn had so if it has Gyroball then that was a bad play well if it had Gyroball then that was a fine play um, I'd much rather Volk be knocked than um, so Roost here to keep it at the utmost and so this Chansey is likely Okay, so we don't want to um, risk toxic. So we're gonna vol switch out here. He mindlessly stays in, which gives me a lot of information. And he has Thunder Wave. Okay, so my Volk, once your Shifu goes down, can just chill. Um, problem is, in fact, I'm gonna try to get this Chansey to Thunder Wave my. Um, Cause he's just gonna go to Toxapex. I'm gonna try to get this Chansey to Thunder Wave my. Um, my. Um, my my Amanda buzz. Um, that way the toxic base can't toxic me. He has he has the tools. He has the tools. Um, 
And so I might try to early game scissor just based on how he's playing. Um, is very possible. I'll just have to get him comfortable with his chancy first. How many moon blasts do I have? Ugh. Let me try to get the special attack drop and never get finally. And so the last time I went, eh. Do I need to be above this? I do. Okay, so he's used 10 skulls already. I've used um, nine, nine moon blasts. And so he, he just stayed in with his chancy last time, which implies to me that he's just gonna stay in. Um, obviously now I can't just go to my Volcarona, um, which was well played on his part. And so if he did, again, if he did have Gyro Ball, then that was the correct play. I don't know what Ferrothorns are running these days. Back back in the day, they'd be running, obvious back in the day, a couple weeks ago, they'd be running Body Press Knock. So Clef would be fairly comfortable. But if he Gyro Balls here and I give him 50% on my Clef, um, that puts your sheaf in a very commanding position when he cl clicks close combat, with that, which I don't want. And so... Um, what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm forced to hard sizz unless he leech seeds. Um, what this does is allows me to swords dance, um, trying to catch pecs, but he opts for Amanda Buzz, um, which I don't mind because I know it forces the uh, allows me to defog unless he is toxic variant. Ugh. Hmm. Okay. Hmm, is this what I want to trick? I mean, the chance he's T-Wave, Stealth Rock. If I trick the Pex, what does that do for me? It doesn't do that much. Because um, my Mana Buzz is already toxic. The Pex already beats my Volk. Man, he has a very solid team for me. But I can, I can play the long game and pull something out. But he has a very... Um, solid team for me but i just have to pay attention to where my defensive strongholds lie um and so we're gonna full switch out here mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. what are you worried so he's called that's fine and so i, I might see the, the upside is obviously my clefkin rocks uh-huh and so he opted for mandibuzz hard last time Huh. So he's gonna go Mandibuzz, then he's gonna Roost, then I go McGearn on his Mandibuzz. So would I rather Chansey tricked or would I rather Mandibuzz? Because uh, mm. I still have to be wary of his threats, right? Clef has to be at the utmost. I've already used six softballs. Um, it's still possible for him to have gyro ball. Um, if I go to, so I'll still go scissor. Um, it's clearly a fizz death mandibuzz the way he's playing. Um, but we're gonna find out as I bug bite. Okay, yeah, it's clearly fizz death, which means he's gonna foul play hard here. No, he's not gonna foul. But he's gonna um, go for. Roost. Hmm. How do I break this? Hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to play the game as if the Ferrothorn doesn't have Gyro Ball. Um. I'm gonna have to play as if the Ferrothorn doesn't have Gyro Ball, cause I might get the picks to take a scarf here, which I don't mind too much. Um, mm -hmm. And so Pex getting scarfed versus my Clef, and then I'll just Moonblast hammer down his Ferrothorn. Uh, that's the way it's looking right now, guys. Guys, as um, he's gonna knock off, and what this also means is that the, the, the Toxic Pex has to pick a move every single time that it wants to go for. Um, and so that's going to either be Scald or it's going to be knockoff, right? And if I have Gastrodon in it, so uh, this is what I was referring to. So here, I'm going to be seeing Ferrothorn versus Ugly Head. Um, 
so be it. Let it, let it. Oh, he actually. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. Predictable. Alright, so. We get some moon blast here. Um, the Pex, again, only has one choice. Has one choice! I really want to knock here. I really want to knock here. Yeah, Ferrothorn was the best mid ground. And so if the Ferrothorn has Gyro Ball, then I don't know if we could have ever won this game. Um, if I can get Ferrothorn in on Volk, um, as he burns, gets burnt. So he spikes. Again, I'm going to say that I'm going to have to play as if the Ferrothorn doesn't have Gyro Ball. Um, and chip away at it bit by bit. Mm -hmm. And so he, the way he's playing is as if it doesn't have it. I'm going to knock this time. Um, it, he's really low. And so... Actually, no. Hmm... Even if Chansey gets knocked, that's not that, that's not even that important. Chansey isn't the mine. Uh, especially with Pex burnt. If Pex, so I'm gonna go Mandy. I figured he'd stay in there, but again, the the Chansey is not the issue. Um, and so he gets to seismic toss, but I need to get rid of these. Um, okay, that's fine. Just don't want to get too low. You get your rocks, bro. You get, you got your rocks. Um, as I'm gonna get mine back. The fair thorn is low. You know, as I said, that's going well. Um, still outside of CC range from the the damn what's his face, and so we get to go to Gastrodon. Gastrodon. As um, he has to make a decision, right? So like, for example, if um. Now I think I can overwhelm him with Magirna. Um Really want a trick there, but hey. Let's just give me some time. Let me let me get him in the vortex as um Gastro is a problem now. Like Gastrodon is a very real problem now. So um I'm actually gonna toxic anticipating I was expecting Amanda Buzz there, but um, what this does is allows us to earthquake, anticipating either Pex or oh, okay, we just, we just okay, okay, the chance that we stay in low, um, and so my opponent has to make a decision here: do you scald or do you toxic? Either way, Clef positioning is going to be my best bet, yeah. And so my opponent either has to opt for a straight Iron Head, which I think I eat. Your Shifu. OU choice bend. I'm not straight up max max, but I'm pretty damn close. OU calm mine. Poison jab to 63 to 75 to a max max one. And I am like, what, like 200 defense? Yeah, roughly. Poison jab to 67 to 79. Like it's still more so in my favor, but man, I hmm, I swear if he goes for like close combat or something, if him, him U turning is too big of a risk, yeah, I was gonna go last turn. I was like, it's too big of a risk if he U turns. Um, so this is great. The trick on the pecs is a very big deal. Um, unfortunately, again, Volk is just chilling as he recovers, and now I'll still be patient with it. Um, I'll still be very patient with the Chansey because the fact that he has Thunder Wave on the Chansey is very good for us. Um, and so the Ferrothorn is getting whittled, as I said, as I would do. The Ferrothorn, if it didn't have Gyro Ball, we're gonna slow beat it. Yeah, seems to not have it. Um, this would be the perfect time to go to your your Toxapex if I were my opponent and for that reason I'm not going yeah I'm not doing that shit nigga <laughs> and your chance is low boy alright so um, obviously the defog is 
upon us. Um, I think I knock him out with Brave Bird. So he knocks, which isn't, which isn't bad. Like, as it's bad for me, but like, I figured that would come. I figured that would come. Keeping it a buck fifty with you. So I'm a Brave Bird, expecting yep, a new chance he would come in. And so the chance is now dead, pretty much. Um, so we're gonna roost. <laughs> I do think he's gonna stand, but yeah, it's just it's just not worth the trade. The chance he's not a big enough problem for me. Um, like Pex definitely is far more problematic, and so if we play the long game and Pex stall, I stall out all of Pex toxics. Um, it won't be the worst thing in the world. He's probably gonna stealth throw out his seismic toss. Okay. Okay, 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 I see you, I see you, Seismic, <laughs> and so Gastrodon obviously kills Ferrothorn from here, um, so I no longer have to too much to worry too much about this thing, um, and then, actually I need rocks, so that Pex is too KO'd, but what am I gonna, uh, I'll get rocks up versus the Pex, yeah, um, and so I'll probably have to play with rocks for the remainder of the game, but spikes I don't. Because everything on my speed outspeeds Ferrothorn, everything on my team outspeed. I didn't think he'd go Amanda Buzz ever. Because again, you could. Whatever. Uh, it could be a gunk shot variant of Cinderace, but I've shown, yeah. And so I get to get up bands here, which is great. Um, it's going to be great for um, Gastrodon to a KO on this Pex potentially, as Cinderace raises his ugly head. Um, not playing around. I've seen gunk shot variants running around, and so I'm gonna go Gastrodon East hard as he power balls. He's just had enough. He's just had enough. Fair enough. Um, which is hilarious to me because I could have just destroyed you. But the fact that he has high jump kick implies that he's probably the um, he's probably the bulk up variant. I really don't want him to bulk up for free here. Uh, okay, good. So he's getting frustrated, which is good. That's why I went Cinderace, because Cinderace didn't even make sense to go to. Yeah, like Cinderace doesn't even to kill me. Yeah, he's getting frustrated, which is great. This is great, delicious, delicious. Now you're not switching in with these boots whenever you feel like it. Um, and so I do take Tyra Ball well. Yeah, that's to where I like. I got comfortably survive. Um, my saw boils are getting low though. So I'm gonna saw boil one more time. Um, mm, I think he's gonna HJK here. I don't wanna waste any more soft boils. Not here. I saw a sack buzz. Oh my, I look like a fucking animal. Um, all his moves can miss. I figured he'd HJK as a mid ground though. And I was thinking like all his moves can miss. And so Volk again still can win. Um I really want a toxic here. Mm. Keeps just leaving the chance in as if this shit is sweet. As if this shit is sweet. Um, hmm. So, Toxic here. He recklessly went to Mandibuzz last time. Real recklessly. I don't want him knocking and I don't want him going for... Mm. It's going to be very close, like very, very close. You're probably like, damn, you don't have a shot, bro. Um, Funnily enough, if my scissor, that's not going to work. It's not going to work. You're not getting up spikes. And so this forces in your Shifu or um, Cinderace. Hmm. I do think he's just going to go for... I think he's just straight attacking. I mean, he can't knock me out anyway, like an Aoko, yeah. And so, 
<laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm getting, I'm frustrating him though. So now his Cinderace can't willingly switch in, and so that puts pressure on him to start defogging. Um, should just called here. Hmm. As I said, under no circumstances am I going for just. And so I want to watch my health. Yeah. I'm not knocking his Tepex item off. And we're going to stall out all these moves. And so he might opt for a knock. Um, Skulls he had, 11 left. Toxic, right. Like, that's what I do too. And so this is a very good position because. Oh my god, I didn't mean to go fucking gastro. I I literally didn't mean to go. Ah, I fucking lost now. I did not mean to go gastrodon. So what I was doing there, I was like, okay, good position. I can go Magirna, Chansey, da da da. I did not mean to click gast, but gastrodon was on my mind. Fuck. I can't believe I just let this guy out of the fucking. Now I gotta crit him with Scizor. Ah, not, well, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. We can still win. I just fucking let this. I had this fucking game. <laughs> oh my god, man. Uh, yeah, punk. This shit is not over, nigga. Don't get comfortable, my guy. Nah, he should get comfortable because I played like fucking dog shit just now. But upside, I might be able to get him to T wave this. Um, ah, oh, man, I cannot believe I allowed him to. Okay, bet. Nice, 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 nice. I don't think he thought that through. And I think he's gonna realize that he didn't think that through in a little bit. Um. Yep. I've done this plenty of times, and so that's why I know what the fuck I'm doing with right here. I knew this situation would happen. And so please, for the love of God, hit the fire dance and the center race is gone. Nice. 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 Nice, 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 nice. Um, and so again, I was fully aware of this being a potential option. I um, have to hard gastro. Uh, got a hard gastro here. Um, I guess I could have scalded the pecs by now. Please don't luck. Thank you. Thank you. So Gastro is still in the game. Gastro is faster than Pex. Actually, he's not faster than Pex. Um, this is very, still very important. Um, and so I can take any one hit. If push comes to shove any iron heads, I can go. Yeah. Like if push comes to shove and he went for anything else, I could always go to um, say so Oscar Chansey. We already knocked off the EVLite. So this is a non-factor. Um, and so the chance he still can chill though, which I don't like. See, if I have my gastro bros, like I am so pissed. I was thinking about two things at once, and my mind, my hand hovered over gastro because I'm like, okay, like I can double the Magirna no matter what he doubles to, unless he goes hard to your Chifu, I'd be in a good spot. He can't go Cinderate because gastro down at that point wasn't toxic. And so it, it was just it's just a shit show, man. Just an absolute fucking shit show. Um And so obviously he's gonna wanna go for the seismic toss. And I could trade Mandibuzz. This is over here for Mandibuzz, and I'm thinking about it. Problem is or is Mag a better trade? No, I don't think Mag's a better trade. I think Mag's actually semi decent here. Um, yeah, I need Seismic. No surprise there. Wish I had U turn right now. U turn would be so clutch. Um, and he does know I have. Sand tomb. So there's the Amanda Buzz. Um, 
So do I go my gear enough VS out into voltage out into I got nothing to voltage out into crit uh, I didn't get the crit and so um at least gastro is back yeah that's pretty whack bros pretty whack um man like I had I had him like I had him locked up and so this is interesting because well actually I'm dead I just realized I couldn't go into anything else though I'm um, so you can knock me out with seismic I can't win anymore the moment my gastrodon got to uh I'd need him to defog could I have played any longer I don't have enough moon blasts and I don't my gastrodon is slower than Chansey and so he actually managed to pull it out even though man I had that game <laughs> ah that that's a frustrating one because he had the he definitely had the matchup advantage but we played we played to where we started to wither down with the little tactics my apologies for the the, the misclick there man i because that toxic double in fact we were talking about the long game just to explain why that mattered in the sense of like i could have stayed into toxic the moment he ran out of toxics on his pecs then he couldn't force Gastrodon out, other than going into Mandibuzz and clicking Toxic. Um, it also meant that, well, I guess that was before my Volcarona when I was poisoned. But before my Volcarona when I was poisoned, it would also have meant that he couldn't touch Volk. Um, have fun. Uh, thanks. I say have fun. Thanks, bro. Um, but yeah, that that was uh, that was a frustrating misclick there because we had him. He was starting to get frustrated, sacking Cinderace, all of these things. Um, but yeah, that's where we're going to end the live for today because it's already 42 minutes in. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed. I actually really enjoyed that game. I love games where I don't have the matchup advantage. And I also do some more laddering off screen to get us back. Hopefully at least 1850 or so, but still quality game. Um, shout outs to Travion, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.